kidding me? Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Please subscribe below if you're new here and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Thank you. So, I don't look my best right now. I have been dying to try this for a long time now and every time I go um, to the store and I see it, I go through, what store do I go through? Oh, I go through the mall at Saks. I was this close to buying this product once and I'm like, hmm, it's a lot of money. I don't know, is it really worth it? And I never buy it. So this time, I got it, because why not? I'm dying to try it. I want to see if it works just as well as my other brightening serums, etc. This is By Terry. It's called By Terry. Brightening CC Serum. And the one I got it in is Sunny Flash. This is a glowing base, hydration, radiance, and color correction. And this is really, it's supposed to, it's supposed to give me a glow. It's supposed to even out my imperfections, reduce my redness, and, and even out my skin tone. You can clearly see I need all of that right now. I haven't self-tan in quite a while, so I feel really pale. But um, I'm in a way, I'm glad because I got like a darker one which can give you like a little tint so we're gonna see if that really helps me I also got um, this is newer for them this is a hyaluronic concealer um, so I'm excited to give this a try extra smoothing hydration radiance buildable coverage blending brush oh I've got my brush I got some more samples of the concealer like different colors so um, that's good I could definitely try that out because you know, I never know if I get the right color every time I order online. And I got a little packet of, I believe it's a primer. I'm not gonna use this right now though. Um, so I, I wanna get right into the actual products that I bought. So, um, let me get right into the Brightening CC Serum. Okay, so again, it's gonna hopefully um, give me a glow, which you know I'm all about my glow. I love glowy glowy. It's supposed to help with the redness and my imperfections and just give me like a more smoother look. Let's see because again this is not cheap. So um, I really want to see if it's worth it. Okay. Got my necklace on because I'm probably going to have to put some all over to even out. So honestly, I was debating, do I get the dark one? Or is it gonna be too dark? But I'm glad I did because it's really not that dark at all. Get under my necklace. It's really not at all. Um, I have some, Wilma wants to come in, one second please. Which is a good thing because um, I do want a little tint to it, but not like, crazy you know where it's so fake so I went in with some more because I felt like I could have used some more first impressions I definitely have a glowy look I mean my redness didn't go away obviously but maybe the concealer will help with that okay so I mean I don't it does it is giving me a glow and it did give me a little tint did it blur out anything? Let me just look up close. Yeah, I mean, I do like it. I think it looks nice, looks nice. You can wear this alone, obviously. It would look better if I did have a self tanner on. I think that would make it, a, cause self tanning literally makes me look better regardless, like makes my skin tone look better and everything. So that with this on top would definitely make a difference, I think. Okay, let's, uh, it's a lot of money though. I gotta tell you, that CC Serum is $90. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth 90, but I don't know. Okay, so let's get on with the Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. Extra Smoothing Skin Care Concealer. Hydration, Radiance, and Buildable Coverage. It's on a brush. 
Oh, it's on a, well, no, I'm gonna use my other brush. So what do I do? I got this in Fair 100. I know that seems very light, but when it comes to concealer, I just really wanna brighten this area up, so I do tend to go on the lighter side. And there's a button here, which I'm guessing I have to pump. I don't know, I'm gonna do this here, it's just easier than I probably should just read the instructions. How about that? Like, really? No, there's none on the box. Okay, well, it told me where to use it, which I know. So, am I doing this right by pushing this up? I don't see anything coming out yet. It says click. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a video. I'm on their website. So on the video, she shows it, she opens it, and then she just puts it on. But she, they don't show you how to get it out. I've been hitting this a thousand times and nothing is coming out yet. I'm hoping it's because it's the first application that this is literally taking me forever, but I have a really bad headache right now and I'm getting annoyed. Like nothing's coming out. <laughs> I'm getting so angry. How long do I have to literally sit here for? Like this is, no, $45 and I'm still clicking. So. I literally stopped the camera to try and I had everyone in the house help me and nothing's coming out. I don't know if I got a f failure. I'm obviously I'm not going to break it, but I'm close to wanting to break it because this product this already took forever to get to me. It was delayed and I'm just like <sighs> wanted to try bed terry out for so freaking long and this is what happens. Okay. That's just not going to work. I got to return this. I'm hoping I could just like walk into Saks or something and exchange it and not have to mail it back, but, and I almost had to not just do this video because what's the point? Then I remembered I got my samples. I'm gonna use the sample and I'm probably gonna use this light shade, which is natural, which is one step up from the one that I got. So, all is not too lost, but my anger level is way up high. <laughs> it's just annoying when you spend a lot of money. Like, that should not happen. But, anyway, I mean, my skin does look good. It doesn't look like it here because, like, I, I have no makeup on, but. So, I have my little sample, and we're going to try that out. If I don't make a mess. I'm just going to apply with my regular br brush. Some on first and then work it in. So, so like, why make something that for that much money that thing should work instantly? I should not struggle at all. It could just be one defect because I don't, I'm sure people aren't complaining, you would know, but it just makes me angry. Let's try the concealer. I'll probably put a little too much on that. Um, I don't like this concealer at all. I don't like it. I look cakey, I could see my pores. I'm very sad. I'm just gonna return it. I'm not even gonna keep this concealer, I'm just returning it. Um, I think I like the brightening serum, I just don't like the way this concealer looks. I'm just kinda like, bending over here so if you could see this up close. I don't know that you can see what I see, but um, from a distance, from a distance it looks okay, but up close is, um, it's like getting in my pores and it shows that it's in my pores and I don't like that kind of a look. Like, again, what bothers me is that this was $45 and I tried a Wet n Wild concealer the other day that might have been like $4. And I absolutely loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But let's go on with the day. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup. And um, I still have a lot more in here. 
and I do want to keep trying it. I'm not going to give up and say it was terrible. Um, maybe I put too much on. I feel like I did put a little more on than I normally would, so I'm going to go do that, finish my makeup, and we'll see if the sample, I'm not, I, I don't want another one. I'm just going to return it um, because I don't love the way this looks instantly, so I feel like why would I get another one? I have the sample. That was good. And, um, yeah. But I'm going to keep playing with it and we'll see if it's on my first quarter review. We'll see. But I am testing also the brightening serum. So I almost want to put a little more of that on. Like my glow went away a little bit. I'll put it like where I would put blush. Let's see if that makes a difference. Now, I thought maybe I could put it over the concealer, but it's kind of like taking it away. Which is a good thing, actually. Well, isn't this video turning terrible? Sorry, guys. It just goes to show you, you really do not have to spend a lot of money on makeup. And I don't want to, like, poo-poo it because I've been dying to try this for, like, over a year now. Serum, I like. The CC Serum, I like. But is it worth $90? No. I think that I'm going to really like the serum with my other makeup. So, um, I think I'm going to do a two-day video on this. I think I'm going to try the serum tomorrow or another day and then uh, it will be on the same video and I want to show you how the serum looks with my other makeup because I just wasn't a fan of the concealer, that's all. I don't look bad but I don't like, like how I look up close to the concealer. I do see um, the brightening but let me go, let me go finish my makeup guys. Okay, makeup is on. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look bad, right? Like, even now with my full face on. I don't even have foundation, but because of this concealer, I feel like I do. Um, did it cover my up, me up? Beautifully. Like, I don't see any, like, redness. I don't, I feel like my skin looks good. Um, just my only issue, I have something in my eye. I just lightened it up a little. Um... In case I look a little brighter. My only issue with the concealer is up close. Like you can see, and I have a couple of makeup products like that that were not cheap. And when I put them on, I felt like you could see the makeup. I'm so about a natural look. Yes, when I go out to dinner, if I go out somewhere fancy, I, I don't mind this kind of a look because obviously I'm putting a little more makeup, but I don't want to look cakey then either, you know? I don't look so much cakey. I've looked worse with other products, but um, I didn't love the concealer is all I'm going to say. So, but the, the serum, I think I'm going to like, and I am going to do again, because I have the time, um, I am going to put more into this video and try it out. I feel bad, you know, because this is something I really want to try for so long. Not, actually, I shouldn't say that. The star of the show for me today is the serum, without a doubt. I've been wanting to try that, and I am happy so far with that. But I want to see how it works with my other makeup, or maybe a day that I've done a self-tan. If I could just wear that alone, I want to see that glowing effect. Because I do have the glowing effect that I like. Like that dewy look, I think it looks good. Um, but I was just like, let's be honest. You saw me from the start with that concealer. It just didn't work. The pump didn't work. So that just put me, it could be the vibe that I'm having with this concealer. So I don't want to make this video about the concealer because, again, I per I literally just went in to buy this and I saw that the concealer was new. Let me try that too. Do the face. Um, so I should just stop there. Is it worth $90? I don't think so, but... Um, I'll try it out the rest of the week and we'll see if it is. I don't know. I just think that there's so many great inexpensive products is all I'm going to say. But um, I am going to check in on today though, a little later. We'll check in and see how that looks. Okay? Okay. And then after that, we're going to do, I'm going to do a quick video. I'm not going to do a sit down like this, but I'll, I'll, um, I will do a casual like look at my makeup today. So. That's the plan, Stan. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I mean, obviously my skin looks good. The makeup looks good. Again, up close, it's just not my favorite concealer. 
I'm just irritated about the whole thing because like, I'm trying to get it where it's not on my, the shadow's not on me. But like, I, I purchased it through a link from a YouTuber. And I was like, oh, I've been wanting to try this. Let me try it. So I said, I'll just click the link. I did get the discount, which is great. But this YouTuber is in La England. So I just assumed that by Terry would send it through the States, you know, like through a by Terry in the States, because obviously I can get it here. It came though from, I don't know if it's France or Netherlands, it was all over Europe and I'm like, so that was delayed and I was like, all right, whatever. It didn't come when it was supposed to. No big deal, it happens, I get it, especially now, but like, but what, but what does bother me is that now I have to return it and I can't just return it to like, I can't walk into Saks or, or Bloomingdale's. I don't even know if Bloomingdale sells it, but I know Saks does. I can't walk in and just return it. I can only return it through the buyterry.com. I have to print my label. So now it's going to the ne Netherlands and because it's going international, I can't schedule a pickup from DHL and around here DHL is not very like I don't know I hardly see DHL we use UPS mostly FedEx UPS so now I gotta go out of my way I gotta take lunch tomorrow which I usually don't do I just like work throughout and whatever so I'm gonna take time because they close at 5 so I can't go after work can't go before work because they close open at 10 so I have to take time out of my work day to go return this package I had to print it but it's just like so many steps to take to return something that didn't work to begin with. Like, I'm just like irritated. <laughs> mm. But anyway, I have like silly hair today, but I just wanted to put my, my hair didn't even come back. My hair didn't come out good either today. And I used a product I like, so go figure. I don't know. And honestly, I'd love to show you my bathroom, but I can't do that either because that's not a hundred percent. And I'm sorry, but I don't want to show it until a couple of things are done and I'm just like irritated with that too just ir I'm irritated I'm telling you guys don't get old because I think that it's perimenopause doing this to me I am stressed I'm not stressed I hate saying stress I just I have a lot on my plate let's just say that um, <laughs> little ponytail I have a lot going on which is fine because you want to be busy right but like there's just a lot and when little things like this happen I just feel like my whole day was ruined just, it's just one of those days just one of those days okay so um, I'll do a final check-in but my face does look glowy and dewy which I do like I'm telling you I'm gonna probably like the CC serum is it worth the money I don't think so I can get glowy dewy face with other products that are very similar but it is what it is. Um, I'll probably keep, I'm gonna keep that one. And just return the concealer. All right guys, I'll check in with you later. I, I gotta do some work that I haven't done at all today. So, here we go. Hey guys, I am checking in and checking out for the night. <laughs> um, I didn't hit my face, it's kind of blurry. I apologize because it's dark. But I thought my makeup looked good, but you know what's weird? So, hi Alina. Look who's hi. here with me tonight. <laughs> she, her, my face. It's hard to see because it's too dark. It doesn't look like there's anything on your face. Really? That's it a good sign. Like you're wearing any makeup. Well, it's the end of the night. Do you know what concealer has like, I don't have any, I don't have foundation on, yeah. but I felt like this concealer worked as a foundation. In other words, it kind of went into my pores. You know when concealer or foundation goes in your pores mm. and you I see it? I don't really it? wear foundation. I only wear concealer. I really haven't either. This is concealer. And it got, it made me look cakey. No, yeah, you look smooth. I think it's because the night's oh. going on. It no, looks like no, I'm happy. Nothing. Like, it just looks like smooth. Yeah. Skin, really. Oh. Um, so yeah, no, I really like the serum. Like, I look scarier than I'm like, no, you don't. All right, well, it's late. It is late. This is our late night, like, we're watching. Oh, what are we watching now? Blink so Love Island. Empire. I well, no, but yes. wait a minute. Well, that's what we're going to watch right now. But mm. So Love Island stopped. 
Not stop, but we finish it. We still have the American one. We're definitely not watching that. I really like the American one. It wasn't really Love Island. It was just like another like show. It wasn't as like entertaining because <coughs> the accents. Yeah. All right, so we won't watch that. So then we started going back to Housewives. I started season five of Housewives of New Jersey. Yeah. I Pulls watch you in. the Housewives every single day of my life. It's really bad. But when did you start? You just started like not even well, five months ago and you no, were like through first, the whole... No. First I watched the Wait, did New you watch York Paul? Housewives and then I watched the Beverly Hills Housewives and now I'm watching the New Jersey Housewives. But I think those are the only ones I'm going to like. So Who do you like... most relate with, be honest? I Well, there's like a lot of people on there. I only watched a little bit of the New York with you, like literally a couple shows. And you like Teresa. No, I'm talking about the New York one. Oh. oh. And we watched, now the New Jersey. Now, Jersey one I'm more involved in. Mm -hmm. I, watched, I watched the whole season, season five. And, yeah, you see, like, Teresa and that whole scandal all over the news all the time. I remember it happening, and I'm I like, don't even remember I wasn't that. a fan. <clears throat> but now that I watch the show, I'm like, oh, my God, they're, like, all against Teresa. And she did nothing wrong. Oh my god, so, you're so into it. <laughs> I feel, yeah, so, and I have to admit, like, I relate to them. Mm -hmm. Do you want to laugh what we were laughing at? This is funny, this is funny. So, let me put my board down. I think I, I might have said this with you, because I watched it with you, but when I watched it again with Sophia, I noticed mm -hmm. it this time. All the little, the whole family was getting together, mm -hmm. and they're, they're eating and stuff, and all the little kids are on one end, and the mother, Melissa, I guess, goes, mm -hmm. she goes, to the kids, pasta with butter? You want pasta with butter? Pasta with butter? This is the only thing you <clears throat> got out of this entire show. No, like I what? say that because, <laughs> no, what I was going to say is, sorry, it's kind of relatable mm -hmm. to our family. I don't know if it's like, even though they're Jersey, we're New York, but New Jersey, Long Island, it's kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. And they're Italian, whatever, and it's just like, the pasta with butter, I thought it was my, only us at parties. No. I could eat that every night. No, but it's only the kids is what I'm saying. Like, I thought only our mm -hmm. kids were the only ones who didn't want sauce on their pasta. Mm -hmm. And every freaking holiday, I had to make a whole pot of plain pasta for the little ones with butter. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Not just Not me. Sauce. I always ate sauce, actually. Did you even want Yes, you I always ate sauce. I don't know. But anyway, it just makes me laugh. And it's funny, and I cry all the time, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my god. Mm -hmm. So it pulled me in. So that, yeah. so, but the thing is, there's three of us. So Sophia's hanging out with her friends right now, and when so she's not around, it. we can watch a lot with you, because you yeah. watched everything, so she's double watching things, the poor thing. Mm -hmm. I'm actually but watching Bling Empire now for the third time. You don't have to watch that. No, I will. No, I will. I will. So then she got me over, because Sophia was doing class last time, so we had nothing to watch, so she's like, oh, watch this one. Mm -hmm. Bling Empire? Yeah. It's really good. Oh, wait. That's right. Is, is it Hulu? No, it's Netflix. Oh. Um... And I watched two seasons, two episodes, and I was like, pulled into that. Like, mm -hmm. this is bad, guys. It's bad. But anyway, mm -hmm. back to my makeup. <laughs> so, oh, that's the TV light. So, I don't, no, sorry. I don't hate it. I look terrible. Wait, why did I... I don't hate it. I gotta love the serum. I am returning the concealer because it doesn't work. So, I can't use it. Can I tell them how mad you were? Oh, so they knew. Mad. They saw me, man. She came down, it looked like you were going to cry, and you asked me if I could pump the concealer. I told them. I said everybody in my household tried to pump it, <laughs> and it wouldn't work. Even Daddy tried it. Mm -hmm. But I had the sample, so I tried the sample, by the way. Mm -hmm. I almost gave up. When I went upstairs, remember, I was like, well, there's a video that's not going to work. And then I'm like, oh wait a minute. Oh my God, they're making a third season to you. <gasps> Didn't you watch this, actually? I did watch that. I forgot about that, too. And I think it's with a baby. They have a baby, I think. Oh, because she's just this... Yeah, remember that? Wait, don't if you didn't want... I don't want it. Spoiler it alert, spoiler alert. Twist at the end. She's like just as crazy as he is. But anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, wait. But that gives me anxiety too, that show. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. So anyway, I forgot. So, long story sorry. short, Alina. They gave me samples of the concealer in different mm -hmm. colors. I'm like, oh my God, I could do my video. I And I mm -hmm. said to you guys, I'm like, I forgot I have samples. Mm -hmm. It's not the shade I picked. But anyway, I think I might have put a little too much. Mm. Oh, that's right. What? I'm not saying goodnight, but I am checking in. I forgot I told them I was going to try again tomorrow. Yeah. Because I have time. Mm. So, I'm talking all the time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to try a different way tomorrow. How about that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little less because I think I put a little too much. I'm going to stop talking because we got to watch a show. She and I got to go to bed. Doesn't shut up. Oh, my God. All right. But wait a minute. This precious little 
I'm gonna get something around. Oh my god, you got the Oh, no, it's better. Oh, oh, oh you got belly. Oh my god, this is so good. Ew, her nipples are shining. <clears throat> Don't, this is a clean video <sighs> channel, little girl. Okay, see you tomorrow. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> hey guys, okay, it's the next day, and I use the CC Serum. Um, I put a lot on, I felt like. Um, I used a little bit of the concealer, very little, and I don't think that my skin looks any different than when I use my other glowy, whatever you want to call them, products that cost me a lot less than $20. And this was $90, and I'm, I'm kind of sad because I really wanted this to be like, oh, I thought it was going to look so good. My skin was going to look great, and it doesn't look any better, like I said, than using my more inexpensive products. And I feel bad about it because it is a nice, it's nice, I'm going to use it, but then I realize, wait, I'm not using this every day for $90 a bottle. So is it worth it, in my opinion? It's not. I feel really bad saying that. I'm going to compare it right now quickly to three products I have right here and um, up I'll, I'll show you like to me that are very similar um, one is by NYX or NX NYX I always forget away we glow I've told you guys about that one it literally looks the exact same as the CC serum like when you put it out into your finger um, L'Oreal true match lumi glotion same thing and my color science glow which has an additional SPF of 50 in it, so that's even like an extra bonus. Um, all of these products, in my opinion, work just as well as the By Terry CC Serum, and I feel sad saying that, and I don't, I'm not bashing, because it is beautiful, it's beautiful. And again, I think it'll look better maybe when I'm like, have like self tanning on, and I could just use that. Um, and I purposely didn't put highlighter on because I wanted you to see like I do have a beautiful glow don't get me wrong I do I love it if it was cheaper 100% love 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 it so it's great I like it I do like it it gives me that nice dewy glow I guess it does does it yeah it does um but it does the same that this does and um if the price was cheaper I'd be like love it but it's just for that $90 is a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, so, I could do another day and just try it again with just that without the concealer. But it's the same. It's going to be the same result for me. So, um, that's it guys. I'm done with my review. And it's not a negative review. It's just, if you're okay spending that money, then you'll love it. If you don't have that money to spend and you want the same effect, just say any of these three. Any of these three will do. I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Till next time, guys. Bye.